So in Zen, one would talk about a transcendent experience, but not a transcendent being. But uh, definitely, in Zen, we would talk about the state of not knowing, the state of the unknown. Now, in many religions, God is defined that way, that which can't be known, or the cloud of unknowing. But in, and in Judaism, you can't know God. That's, uh, and Islam, same thing. Allah cannot be known. We can see the manifestations. So on that level, I feel comfortable using the word God when I'm using it as a sense of that which can't be known. And that's the same as Zen. And the, uh, but we have to experience that. In Zen, we're emphasizing the experience of not knowing. It's not a dogma. Uh, uh, you, you have to experience it. But that state of not knowing is, uh, I, in my opinion, that's the same state as uh, uh, as God in, in Christianity and Judaism and, and Sufism and, uh, and Islam. Um, but nothing is revealed, so we don't have revelation. And uh, because of that, some people would say that Buddhism is not a religion because it doesn't, some people define re religion as having revelation. And um, Buddhism does not have revelation. Now, Zen stresses that there's no reliance on the word or on the sutras or on any book. But I think all Buddhism uh, stresses the experience. As Shakyamuni, he studied all kinds of Hinduism, and, uh, but he kept searching until he had the experience of that interconnectedness of life. And that's the stress in, in Zen.